Hello everyone, welcome to today's Photopea tutorial. Today's tutorial is centered around the clone tool. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, the key to access the clone tool is the S key. As you can see, the stamp here is the clone tool. So what exactly is the clone tool? Clone tool is a tool that allows you to take a piece of the image and put it over another piece of the image. For example, let me just zoom in here. If we want to take this part of the road and cover up this person's leg, hold down Alt and click on the part of the road you want to paste over this person's legs and just click and hold down and as you can see, it has replaced the woman's legs with the clone tool material. However, as you can see here, this does not look very good. So, hit Ctrl and Z, just go up to the history and go back one to remove the edit. The reason it looks bad is because it's at max hardness and max hardness doesn't really work well with most things so going to drop the hardness down to about 70% and close that window so now if we zoom in grab a piece of the image and go over it as you can see it blends better at 70% hardness than it does at 100% So if you hadn't guessed at this point, this tool is used for cleaning up images like this one where it's very busy and there's a lot going on. So what people do is they use the clone tool to get rid of, say, the people in this image and just make the street look empty, completely empty. However, editing this image will take a lot of time and patience. So I'm just going to go over a little bit here and I'll talk through what I'm doing. So starting out here, another thing, you don't want to use the same bit over too much of an area, otherwise it will look bad. So what you want to do is kind of Combine these two bits together to create a more convincing effect. Make sure you take from all parts of the image that you want to edit over. Sometimes this will happen, you've got to make sure that your strokes aren't too long, otherwise bits of the image that you don't want will end up getting in. So as you can see here, we have a little bit that we just missed. So it's going to shrink the tool down to a smaller size, grab a bit of the image and just go through the middle it even more for this smaller bit and as you can see it's like most of that person was never there in the first place so now I'm just going to edit out the rest of this person Little side note, this is what happens if you make the brush too big.
as you can see it's like that person was never there in the first place this is the beauty of the clone tool i am not going to edit the entire image because it'll take too long but i will show you a completed version of this image i did a while back just so you have a reference of what it looks like over a large scale this is what this image looks like when completed with all of the people edited out using only the clone tool so long story short the clone tool is a fantastic tool that you should use in most of your projects if it is necessary and i think that just about covers it so if this video helped you like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial